In this video, we are going to see how we can combine water and fire in sub level. A while ago, I saw this amazing work. You see that? Honestly, this is amazing and mesmerizing. And I was wondering how we can do that in sub level in easiest, silliest way. And this is our version. Hi everyone, this is Daizen, welcome to my channel. Okay, without further ado, let's begin. You see, a while ago I did a, some tutorial about solver combination in sublevel, which is, this is the playlist, uh, make sure to watch it. And turns out this is simple hack, but yet effective in sublevel, because we don't have anything like multi-solver in DOP network in sub levels in this one we are going to combine water which is a flip solver and fire which is pyro solver in sub level okay let me begin with sphere you see let's create sphere as an emitter source and let's create flip configure node this is amazing preset by side effects to set up this uh, node for flip and let me connect the flip boundary the uh, fourth input and as you can see, we have this dark, uh, dark color. And let me adjust the position and let me delete this CD attribute. Yeah, voila. Okay, we don't have anything. And as you can see, we have this flip solver. And I want to make it emit. Okay. But for that, let me check a uh, velocity first. I want to have a velocity, a directional velocity so let's go with 10 and as you can see we have something like that and in here you can see we uh, we have this velocity attribute sorry velocity parameter to read the velocity and adjust uh, the boundary and let's see how we can do the emit stuff honestly i don't remember that but let me see do we have anything in here yeah let me enable this narrow and yeah nothing i don't know yeah <laughs> in activation we can disable uh, this animation and voila we have our emitting stuff and you see we can adjust this velocity and yeah this is directional directional uh, emitting and let me reduce the size of the sphere and maybe let me increase the sub uh, sub step of the solver and you see this is cool right and let me duplicate that and let me create another source maybe in the minus direction of the velocity and let's create a pyro source for example we need a, py a pyro source and a flip source so this is straightforward i am uh, enable the velocity attribute and the burn and i want to rasterize that this is simple stuff that's why i'm speed up this uh, process and let's go with pyro solver you see yeah let's go with the voxel size and particle uh, scale as you can see and yeah we have something like that the problem is uh, buoyancy in here let me disable that where are you buoyancy let's make it zero and yeah we have some pyro source and we have some flip source and let's hope in perfect world let's merge that and maybe they will <laughs> interact with each other you see so we are not in perfect world in here so let me uh, adjust the velocity you see we don't have any interaction with these two solver in sub level so what is the alternative for that you see that and we have this pyro source so we need something to do about that let's explore and try some method in here let's see how we can do that in sub level and let's cross finger honestly but uh, having said that in terms of mass and density i think and i believe water is more heavier th than pyro right so with that base idea let me do something cool uh, i wanna 
I, I want to create interaction between pyro and uh, flip solver using the collision first let me create vdb from particle and let's see how we can convert uh, the result of the flip to the vdb so let me see that let's go with this uh, voxel size and let's go with reshape and you see we have the surface in here and you see we have some interaction yeah it's not bad and maybe let me create a, a volume a rasterize attribute i want to rasterize the velocity i want the velocity of uh, the flip affect the pyro and you see let's go with merge and i i I want to merge these two together and let's see don't have anything maybe let's crank this up and you see we have something but it's not working honestly so turns out this is a not good idea and not good method to achieve this stuff and honestly i don't want to go deep in dop level and gas setup because i don't know how we can do that honestly <laughs> but yeah if you have any idea any suggestion any recommendation leave me in the comment section how we can do that in sub level really let's think about it i don't know let's try something else so let's go with merging these two source first and i want to show you some cool method in here maybe it will work or not honestly i don't know so now we have two source interacting with each other you see this is amazing we have a two emitter of the flip solver and uh, they are interacting with each other and we have this velocity adjust adjustion and you see we have something cool here right so this is amazing for now and in here i want to uh, differentiate that or i want to split these two emitter so how we can do that let's create delete saw for example after the flip solver and you see we don't have anything to uh, split these two emitter from each other how we can do that you see we don't have any proper uh, attribute for that i want to create attribute called id be careful with the name but i tried id and we don't have any problem now so let's give that a value of one and the second one value of zero and let's go uh, in flip container and let's add this id i want to share it in the solver so in here let's solve again play that timeline and as you can see in the uh, spreadsheet we have id and let's go with the delete by expression at sign id greater than zero you see we have that and delete non-selected and boom this is amazing technique and we have the left emitter so let me go here and let's create a, another one a vdb from particle and let's adjust the resolution and let's go yeah with that and let's create vdb uh, reshape for instance and you see we have something like that and let's connect that you see you don't have anything i think i need vdb convert i want to convert it to the polygon and yeah we have some burn and temperature filled you see that's amazing cool so we have something like that and now if i solve that let me delete the left one from here and you see we have some interaction you see under the hood is two flip source but as you can see the the right one is the pyro source you see with this silly and this amazing uh, technique you can have this interaction with these two solver you see that it seems all it's pyro but under the hood is 
a meter flip a meter that's amazing you see this is amazing approach for this scenario you can do a flexible stuff to it for example you can change the emitter location and all setup will update it and the pyro and the flip solver will be interactive with each other so on my patreon we are going to add some narrative and some variation and we have scene file as you can see and this is the final render and all that it's available on my patreon the link in the description and big shout out for these amazing people on my patreon thank you guys i appreciate it and have fun with our content see ya